Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be breaking down my personal mobile videography starter kit. Without further ado, let's get into it. What's going on guys? My name's Jack. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, well, welcome. I upload weekly content based around video editing, videography, or how to make money making videos. Subscribe if that sounds interesting. Today we're jumping into the mobile videography starter kit. I got a few of my kind of go-tos when I'm doing mobile videography. Um, I don't do that much, I'll be real. I kind of just do it when I need to get some shots of me with a camera or something like that. Basically something where my camera is in use or more recently where I've been, you know, shooting nightclubs and I actually bring one of my friends with me to vlog and I give them, you know, a couple of these items to add to their phone so they can make me a cool vlog. And at the end of the day, I've kind of learned a little bit about mobile videography in the past, you know, year or so. And without further ado, I've collected a few items that definitely complement it. So we're going to be jumping into them. Now, first off, the first kind of section is going to be, 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 be the stabilizer kind of section. And I got three different products right here on my right hand side. We're just going to be ticking down the list. And they all kind of cover a different aspect of stabilization and they give you a different approach and they're all different price gaps. So the cheapest and the simplest is going to be the flexible tripod. This right here is a nice flexible tripod. You could obviously bend the legs to what you want, also known as the octopus uh, tripod or the octopus pod, something like that. You can kind of mold it to your liking and then it's got a very simple um, kind of holster up here at the top where you could slide your phone into and uh, this is really good for getting kind of like still shots. Obviously, uh, this is sort of my go-to when I'm needing to get kind of like a third person shot of me with my camera or something like that. And I can just put the phone in here, set it up somewhere, aim it at me and uh, you know, then I'm shooting. And uh, it's very, very cool by all means, pretty lightweight. I actually use this uh, to, to film quite a bit of stuff actually. And it can wrap around stuff, which is cool. So if you're out and about trying to get some shots of you, I don't know, on a run or something like that, you could wrap it around a, a gate or a fence, uh, kind of attach it to it because of the flexible nature of it and then, you know, get those shots. So it's very cool for simpler stuff and it's coming in at about $13.99. So about $14, about 14 pounds. Link to all the products that I talk about will of course be in the description. And uh, you know, it's it's a fun little, it's a fun little addition to, a, to, to your mobile videography kit by all means. Now, the next up on the list in terms of just cool stuff to actually add quality to your shots is going to be the Ulanzi U-Rig. The Ulanzi U-Rig is really good. It's really cool. It is a heavy metal rig where you hold it on either side like this and you can attach things to it. So it's got a mount on the top to attach a microphone to. It's got a mount on the side to attach a light to, so an LED. And it even has a screw-on lens area. So you could go ahead and add a lens. And it's got an adjustable kind of back where you can add really any smartphone to this. So. They're not really just for iPhones, not just for anything. You can you can add it to pretty much anything you want. It's even got a strap to uh, kind of do the, the, the camera strap trick if you want to pull it against your neck to add some more stability. And you can add a microphone. Uh, you know, you can kind of just wire the wire through here, plug it into your phone. And it's a pretty cool rig, honestly. It can definitely add a much more higher production value feel to your shots for the nature of you being able to actually replicate the high quality audio with the microphone and the high quality lighting with the LED, which normally, you know, you're just holding your phone or, or, you know, maybe using one of these uh, flexible tripods, you couldn't add the microphone and the light onto it. So something like this, a U-Rig is very, very cool. And there's a plastic edition as well. It's a little bit cheaper, not as advanced, but I think the plastic ones may be about 15 bucks, something like that. But the metal one that I'm dealing with right here is about 50 to $60. So little bit of a price increase by all means, but I think it's a lot of fun. And like I said, you can add the lighting to it and the mic to it, which instantly ups your production value. Now, finally, in terms of the stabilizers, is this bad boy right here. This is the Snopa Atom. The Snopa Atom, DJI makes some pretty similar products as well. This right here is really cost efficient compared to the other things in the category of it. And it is a gimbal. So it is like a robot arm. When you power this thing on, you can pop the phone in there. I'll see if I can power it on right now. It's having a bit of a heart attack. All right, it's having a bit of a heart attack. I'm not too sure. I'm just gonna turn it off. Um, <laughs> it's having a little bit of a heart attack right now, but you know, it's usually performing pretty well. And it's a gimbal. So you pop the phone in here, you turn it on, you stabilize it using the app, and then you can, you know, you, you can use it to get some really still shots. And this is the main piece of kit that I use to improve my, uh, you know, mobile videography for the nature of this being a robot arm, pretty much. So you could do some amazing pan shots where you kind of pan across using the controls. You can, uh, I mean, the great thing about this is if you bring it out on a shoot, it's got a 24 hour battery life. 
And if you put your phone into it, it's even got this charger attachment where you can plug this directly into your phone so you can pretty much shoot forever, more or less, unless you're doing an over 24 hour shoot, which I doubt you are, you know what I mean? I, I, don't, I don't know many people who are doing a 24 hour shoot in one go, but this is the main piece of kit which has really drastically improved my mobile videography experience. Everything was a little bit more still before I got this one, but now I got this, it is very cool to, to use and it improves your, your videos drastically, I think to say the least. And it only comes in at about $150, uh, 150 pounds as well. So by all means, that's not only, that's still, that's still a significant amount of money, but if you compare it to some of the other uh, gimbals on the marketplace, it does come in relatively cheap compared to, for example, the DJI one or, or some of the other competitors. But Snopa Adam, the link to it is down below. Hands down, this is my favorite piece of kit to improve my mobile videography. Whenever I'm shooting a vlog at the club or something like that, I'm always reaching for this and I'm chucking it to one of my homies so they can kind of look official while they're filming an iPhone vlog. <laughs> and, um, you know, that right there kind of takes the cake for the stabilizers that I have. But remember, I'm only comparing three. So by all means, tell me in the comment section if you have any other ones in mind. But I'm going to move on now to the lenses. And lenses are a great addition once you've added some nice stability to your shots to add a cooler look. And this can actually take it from just being like a kind of regular little little iPhone look or regular little Samsung look, uh, mobile look to, to a much more kind of high quality look by adding some lenses. And I got two different kits here. Now both of the kits are a little bit different. We got the first kit, which is the MPAL 3-in-1 clip-on lenses. Three lenses, all kind of different. We have the fish eye, we got the wide angle, and we got the macro. The macro is like a, you know, super uh, close up type of one. And very, very fun. 13.69 is, uh, you know, the price you're going to be coming in. So it's very, very cheap for these guys right here compared to the next one as well. This one's going to be a little bit more expensive and they're super easy. You just take them out, you take off the cap, you know, there it is right there. And then it's got these clip on at the back where you pretty much just clip it over your phone. Super straightforward, super simple. And they add a great look to it, especially the wide angle. The wide angle gives you so much more view and I swear it does increase the quality. Um, I, I don't know. It's probably just me being kind of like weird and, uh, and looking at it thinking that it increases the quality, but in my mind, it increases the quality. I, I had an absolute blast with these guys. The fisheye is a little bit weird. It kind of blocks off the sides, but the, the wide angle is phenomenal on this one. And that right there, like I said, comes in at $13.69, about $14, about 14 pounds. This is the lens kit number two, which is the Cronovo phone camera lens kit. The Cronova is a bit more expensive. It's about 20 pounds opposed to the 1369 that the MPAL is right here, but they are more high quality in the fact that um, they're made out of metal, stuff like that. They, they come with a lens wipe as well. So you got a lens cloth, which you know I haven't actually even opened. Then it's got two different clips, one for the macro and one for the wide angle. And that is right. There is only two lenses that come in this kit. So you have the wide angle right here and the wide angle actually screws onto the, the macro. So that's the macro right there, the kind of zoom lens, if you will. And this is the wide angle, 128 degree wide angle. And you can feel that they're more, they're more high quality. Instantly, I can feel it's nicer in my hand. It's metal opposed to plastic. These ones here are plastic. This one's metal right here. And it's fun. Definitely. They, they definitely look bulky. The cool thing about these MPAL ones, which are definitely cheaper, are the fact that you could definitely bring these out to a portable shoot. You could kind of keep them in your pocket or something. This one right here, it looks massive on the phone. Like it really does. It looks big. Um, so it's a little bit less portable, but 100%, I mean, it's totally portable. My bad. That was a wrong use of words. Look at it. It's in a tiny little pouch like this. So portable is definitely the word, but it's more noticeable on your, on your phone. Remember, depending on the size of your phone as well, if you're using a next level you know, iPhone X Pro or something like that. I don't actually even know if there is an iPhone X Pro, but I'm assuming there probably is. Uh, if you're using it on that, like a massive phone, then it probably won't stand out too much, but I got the iPhone 5S. So it does stand out a little bit, but that right there, guys, is me completing my mobile videography starter kit for 2019. If you enjoyed and found any of these products look like something you could add to your starter kit, or I mean to your kit, then check out the links down below in the description. The mobile videography starter kit, the flexible tripod, the Ulanzi U-Rig, great piece of kit, and the Snoopa Adam gimbal, three axis gimbal, robot arm, more or less, to a, for lack of a better term. Then we got the MPAL three-in-one lenses, and we have the two-in-one mobile phone camera lens kit 
for the Cronovo. Thank you guys for watching the video. All links down below in the description if you want to check any of these products out. I'll get a slight 3 to 10% commission, but it's usually closer to that 3%, so don't worry, you're not... You're not giving me too much money. Uh, thank you guys for watching the video. I've been Jack. If you enjoyed this video, I got a whole bunch of other ones that are similar to it. I got a whole unboxing channel as well, which is a, you know a secret kind of channel that I'm working on at the moment. Link down below for more unboxings and reviews. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy.